Hello, my name is Christine and I run a vintage shop called Prima Treasures on Etsy. Today I wanted to talk about a fairly popular item. What you have in front of you is the Penguin Cocktail Shaker by Restoration Hardware. Now it was originally modeled after an even older cocktail shaker made by Napier in the 1930s. So there tends to be a good bit of confusion in the marketplace when it comes to this particular item because it was modeled after another item that is genuinely valuable and highly collectible. So the reason I wanted to talk about it is because it can be easy to look at different items for sale and think you're getting one thing, but you're actually getting another. So I wanted to use this as an example of ways to avoid paying a premium for something that's not what you think it is. This is a good example, as I said, because it's modeled after an older and a Napier cocktail shaker would probably sell for four figures. This one you can have for under a hundred, depending on where you find it and how much of a chance you're willing to take. So one of the things I wanted to point out is that this particular shaker, I think it's easier if you look at things that you know are fake because they give you reference points to things that are the real deal. So in this particular case, one of the things that you would want to look for is his beak. It has a little knob that you unscrew to pour the mixed drinks out. And that is different from the Napier version where the whole beak flips up, I think. I'm not sure exactly. It flips up. It flips down. Mm. The whole beak opens up to expose the spout. So in this case, you can easily tell by looking at this little knob on the end of the beak. That is not Napier because Napier wouldn't have this little knob on the end. Another thing that people tell you to look for is the wings of the penguin are a separate piece that's applied to the body of the shaker. Whereas some reproduction shakers will just like have a little etched design carved out of the main body to depict the wing, but it won't actually be a separate piece like this. Now, another thing I wanted to point out, because I think this is usually easy to check, is that you can look at the bottom of that shaker and see that says Restoration Hardware right on it. So anytime you look at photos of a shaker for sale like this, and they don't put a photo of the bottom, you should ask for that. You should ask to see the bottom. Um, not all of the penguin shakers made by Restoration Hardware had the mark on it. Sometimes they just put a sticker, which of course the owner, when they bought it, took it off. So if there's no marking, that also tells you something. It means that it's probably the older version of this shaker that just had a sticker. Um, a real Napier shaker is going to have either the name Napier on the bottom or the patent number of the shaker because they have a design patent on this design right here, the penguin design. So if you don't see the Napier name or a patent number, it's also not Napier. And as such, a seller should not be charging you prices anywhere near Napier price. And when I go online and I look, I see people asking, three, five, eight hundred dollars for shakers like this and that's just excessive for what you're actually getting. That this particular shaker was made around the late 1990s. It's definitely not nearing a hundred years old like an original Napier would be. And as I said, if you had a real Napier shaker on your hands, you'd probably be paying four figures for it, not three. So that's a few of the things that you can look for and keep in mind when you're shopping. And the main point here is, is that know what you're getting. Make an effort to rule out that it's something high end when it isn't. And if you just like this look and you're not interested in, you know, having an antique cocktail shaker that's highly valuable, you know, pay what you're willing to pay. Don't pay a premium. So. I hope that helps you if this is the type of thing that you're looking at and you're interested in, but you don't feel comfortable making a decision. At the end of the day, I think you should pay what you're willing to spend 
for an item that you feel good about. And so if something, the price of something is beyond what you're comfortable spending, don't buy that. You can go to eBay or Etsy and there are plenty of other sellers who will sell you this particular item, the restoration hardware one, that is vintage, but it's not antique. And they'll sell it to you for under a hundred bucks. 